When the day gets dark, the quiet streets become crowded. Folk music, light of the red and purple. Girls wearing student uniform, nurse uniform, student uniform begin to walk out of the street. Foreigners, white, black, brown, yellow, begin their wild journey. This is the heaven of man. Also, the great place for earning money. This is Pattaya, Thai's famous travel city, one of the Asia's sex capital. And today, I will tell you the stories of the unknown. I'm getting older, and when people get old, they lose part of the passion, also their memories. I'm gonna tell you these stories, the stories that I didn't tell anybody else. When I still remember the feeling of passion, memories, and the reflections. Hey friends, this is Vec. This channel is about the mindset, tools, strategy in terms of being a digital nomad, build your online income, and walk towards a happy life. So do subscribe to get more contents. You may have already heard of Pattaya. Pattaya is actually a city very next to Bangkok. Many international tourists, they visit Bangkok, and then they will visit Pattaya. Actually, Pattaya is only just a small city in the whole Thailand, so do not replace anyone else in the role of the Pattaya. Most people in Thai are very kind, generous, and independent. You may have heard of Google Bar. If you don't know what Google Bar is, please search. Uh, if I put an image here, maybe the YouTube doesn't let me to upload. Uh, so basically, you go a bar on your own, and then you go out with another person. Uh, so it's called Google Bar. I remember when I first entered Google Bar, I was so shy. At the moment, I was still a very young tourist. I walked inside and I didn't know where I should put my eyesight on. So I just looked down the floor. But luckily, I was very brave. So I stepped in and I realized that uh, there were also some Chinese tourists. So we sit together and we chat. And then I felt less embarrassed. I began to look up. To be frank, um, girls there really didn't wear anything. They wear a very uh, similar clothes, or whether bikini or nose or student uniform. Yeah, I understand this is probably the company's role, while I personally think it's more natural and attractive if they wear their own clothes. I feel it's a lost of the elegance of humans. Mm. Maybe some people like it, but I just don't prefer this kind of too direct contact. When you walk inside, there are girls dancing on the platform and you just sit around by, whether in the darkness or really close to them. So you look up and they're there, and if you look at them, they also look bad at you. Uh, feels like an invitation. Hey, would you like to buy me a lady drink so that I can sit with you? They, every 10 minutes or 15 minutes, they change in turn. But during these 15 minutes, they actually need to dance continuously. So I felt it was very tiring. If you can buy this drink for them, they can not only earn money, but also they can get released from this kind of heavy dancing, dancing on the stage. Also, besides Google Bar, for some bars in Pattaya, they offer a sex show. You may see people walking by the street and ask you, hey, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong show. <laughs> yeah, 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 very interesting. At the beginning, I didn't know what it is, and I asked my friends in Thai whether guys or girls, they didn't know what is ping pong show as well, um, but it's, it was very brutal, so I don't recommend you to watch. There were more artistic shows. It was more like performance. You can hear the name like 6699. Uh, if you write this number down, you will realize the name, the number itself tells the stories. Besides girls, there were also guys go bar. It was in a different district. Maybe you can search online and you can see the outcome. When I walked into the men's Google bar area, it was very interesting that some people begin to show makeup. I just remember that uh, it was around 300 entrance fee, also uh, around 250 baht for a drink. Usually it was cola or ofenda or Red Bull. And you can buy another uh, 200 baht drink for the boy that you want. It was very similar. There would be guys dancing on the stage. And some are very muscled. Some are K-pop style. Some are obviously Thai style. Some are more like uh, the Caucasian style. It was very interesting that uh, people's preferences are reflected here. Actually, I read about the interview afterwards, and some people, they also like girls, or they are gays, but they don't provide this kind of uh, sexual service. They only provide massage like that. But anyway, you sit in the darkness, you can actually tell the waiter, and he will invite that boy to sit down with you. You can let them uh, get rid of this kind of heavy dancing on the stage. I met Walter one day when I was in a nightclub. And talking of Walter, yeah, this is her name. Some friends in Thai will use very special English words as their name, such as Walter, 
star, rock, band. Yeah, it's actually at the beginning I was very amused. She was a uh, similar age as me and being held in another tourist towns in the nightclub. It's worth mentioning that in Pattaya, the nightclubs are especially uh, affordable and also open atmosphere. In China or Korea, you may need to pay a lot to get a seat and they divide the area into the sitting one and standing one. But in Pattaya, uh, there are places that are very affordable. I think around only 100 baht. Moreover, they don't and moreover, they don't really split the sitting area and standing area. So even if you're alone, you go inside and they will arrange you to a table and you naturally uh, get involved into the atmosphere. I forgot, uh, maybe that guy come from Korea or come from China. Uh, I didn't remember it so clearly. But one thing I remember is that Walter looks much younger than the average people. I think she was around 19 years old or 20 years old at the moment. Especially when someone in such age, they spend their beautiful time uh, enjoying their youth, their passionate romance in this area. But what makes Walter impressive to me is I began to realize that she worked in uh, Soil 6. Also, she was a single mother. For people who doesn't know Soil 6, it was a famous walking street, a red light area, where there were a lot of pubs with a lot of girls wearing in uniform. I think she worked for a period being in the pub. And if there's a customer who like her and she felt okay as well, she would accompany him for some hours, or whether being a guide or do something more intimate. I simply know being a single mother is not easy. I actually invited her for a cafe and chat with her. And she told me that the child's father actually from Thai, which is out of my surprise. At the moment, she was only around 19 or 20 years old. Her child uh, was already one year old. So maybe she get birth around 18 or 19 and she grow up pregnant around 17 or 18. It was really a young age. She should enjoy the beauty of life. But meanwhile, she already bears the heavy responsibility as a mother. I asked her, Walter, why you don't go find the child's father? She didn't answer me. But I can do feel she actually uh, loved that child, though it was very hard for her. The child was raised with the help of her mother in their house or apartment. She sometimes will post the picture with her daughter and also herself. To me, it almost looks like a young sister together with her young sisters. Actually, in Stone Asian standard, they think mixed race babies are very cute. They should really be blessed. Sometimes we hear about stories about a tourist come whether from English areas, from East Asian areas. Some local people also come to Pattaya and they left without even leaving their contacts. And sometimes the girls even didn't know who was the father of their child. Each year, guys and girls come and go, but Pattaya remains. Pattaya is still there, but us, we all change. Meanwhile, it's also interesting that many people who work in Pattaya, in terms of the service industry, they need to support their family, the lack of certain education opportunity as well. Maybe they have the family debt that they need a lot of money. Some of them even think that they were there for a period and then they get some money for the education fee. It was poverty. So for many people, they prefer to choose to get involved into the service the poverty. Compared with poverty, starving, family debt, or one of our family get into the hospital and need our money to save. Will you choose to be involved into the service industry or you choose the poverty? Not everyone actually have the right to choose. Sure, being involved in the service industry means it nice let us lose ourselves as well. Being called as the sex capital for a city is only a period for the development in terms of the history. Throughout the hidden history, cities like Babylon, Pompeii during the Roman Empire, New Orleans in terms of the 16th to 19th century. In the novel of Notre Dame de Bahi, The Valley of Love, La Valley d'Amour, around 2010, Dongguan was famous for its sex industry in China. By the development, these cities all appeared in history. But who really want to be involved in the service industry if they still have a choice? I mean, even if we go for live streaming, even if we go for content creation, it may be much better than this, isn't it? When the cities develop, when a country get rich, the social welfare system good enough to support everyone's 
basic dignity life. When the economy and industry develop, the human resources there get more expensive. That even they need to hire headhuntings to find those talents. When there are few people, that the minimum wage even increased, and the foreign companies need to wait off when hiring talents in this area. This will be a timing when a city get rid of its name, famous for its sex industry. But then, where will the capital go? The capital will probably go for a nest, cheaper human resources area. And the same stories, similar tragedies may happen once again. Because humans' primitive impulse will never be ripped off, and as long as people have desire, as long as people are willing to buy some precious resources with the money they have, many people will still go for it. Okay, this is part of my stories at Pattaya. How do you feel? Have you ever been to Pattaya? And what was the story? Feel free to comment below. This is back. See you next.